need to stay warm and we need to stay safe. This is a dangerous winter storm headed our way. So hopefully you use the nice weather from yesterday and last night to prepare. So hopefully those preparations are complete because things will be going downhill for the rest of today. We do have the rain out there now, but we've got the snow and sleet and potentially freezing rain coming. And for that reason, winter storm warning will be in place. For Sandusky over towards Cleveland, Strongsville, down towards Akron, Ashtabula, Toledo, this will be in effect for the majority of the area this evening through early Friday morning. Winter weather advisory in place down around the Canton area from tonight through Friday morning and a winter storm watch farther south and east for you in Coshocton, New Philly from late tonight all the way through Friday morning. So a lot going on. This storm will have some significant impacts to pretty much the entire area. We're still on the warmer side, so we're getting the rain at this point. Let me give you a closer view of where we do have some of that heavier rain coming down, and that's going to be over towards Norwalk, Heartland. Decent rainfall for you in Lorraine at this point. Some light rain over downtown Cleveland, Ashland, Worcester getting in on some of that rain, and we've got some rain as well over towards Akron and Newton Falls and up towards Middlefield. So it's going to be rain for the majority of the day. I think by this evening and tonight, we'll start to see that transition to the mix and eventually some heavy snow. Why is it rain? Well, look at these temps. We are feeling great out there in the 40s for Cleveland, 41 out of Akron Canton Airport, 43 in Ashtabula, 45 in New Philly. So definitely warmer air surging up ahead of this big time Arctic front that will slide through later today and tonight. So we are on the warmer side with the rain, 40s in Cleveland. But behind this front, look at Chicago, 17 degrees with snow coming down. 50s down around Memphis, but they are under a winter storm warning as well. And those temps will be crashing as we go through the evening and nighttime hours. For Northeast Ohio, those temperatures will slowly but surely start to slide back into the 30s and eventually the 20s by this evening and tonight. 40s for the afternoon, down to around 36 by 7 p.m., 29 though by 9. That means that rain will start to mix with and switch to a little bit of sleet and snow, and we could have some pockets of freezing rain mixing in as well. I want to break down that transition timing. I think the transition will happen earliest northwest, latest southeast, 2 to 6 p.m. likely over towards Sandusky, 4 to 8 p.m. That rain switching to mix and snow for you in Cleveland and down towards Mansfield, 8 p.m., Tonight to 4 a.m. Thursday, likely down towards Canton and likely the transition happening for you in New Philly early Thursday morning. That rain switching to that ice and then gradually a little snow as well. Widespread rain, though, showing up on our future cast for the majority of the afternoon. The green and the yellow indicating that rain, the yellow, the heavier pockets of rain. But notice by 8 p.m., we're seeing some of that pink in the Cleveland area as those temps drop to near 30 degrees. That's the wintry mix, the blue building in farther northwest. That's the snowfall up towards Sandusky. That blue really taking over for Thursday morning. So widespread snow, a little sleet and ice off to the south and east. Snow will be heavy at times on Thursday, likely winding down by Friday morning. But before it does, 8 to 12 inches likely between Cleveland and Akron. 6 to 10 inches, still a good bet down towards Canton. 2 to 5 inches, even as far south as Coshocton, and we're talking about 10 to 14 inches likely over towards Tiffin. So a major winter storm, 40s today, 20s for highs tomorrow. At least we get rid of it by the weekend, but we will still be cleaning up from what will be a significant winter storm. Stay safe out there.